Dolly Chamlet welcome to Tottenham Hotspur 11 down to a packed Champion Hill this afternoon in their fifth pre-season friendly. The hosts were here in midweek and would have been delighted to hold a strong Bromley side to a 1-1 draw. Once again, Gavin Rose rotates his side, bringing in six fresh faces from the start. The Spurs side comprises largely of under-23 players and are coached by ex-Hamlet manager Wayne Burnett, who spent a season and a half at Dulwich in the mid-noughties. They held Epsom United to a 2-2 draw in their last game. False touch from Tracy allows Dulwich to have the ball back. Chapman, suicidal pass to him from Connors and Tottenham have it 25 yards out. Tracy breaking into the area to his right is uh, Magoma and headed wide at the near post. You hear the loud audible groan from Gavin Rose that wasn't best pleased with that attempt from Connors. Mon Louis won the ball back though and he's into the area. Kieran Mon Louis just as he opened his body to shoot it was well defended by John Dinze wide and in the form of Aaron Barnes. He could go and turn down the line to Clunis, but he's coming inside Barnes. Away from two, and then he's caught from behind by Ryan Clark. That's a bit naughty. Chapman and Connor stand over this. It's the right boot of Chapman. It's a good save as well. In truth, Ed Smith didn't have to move too far, if at all, but he had to tip it over his crossbar. Spurs trying to break now with Shiloh Tracy. He was the furthest man forward. He's now got two in support. One being Statham, the right back. Uh, early cross into the area, it's a good looking ball and volley wide when he should have scored Paris Magoma about six yards out Chapman long ball that's a lovely great ball as well out to Monacana, there's two on one on this side for Dulwich Monacana with an early cross Mills is arriving, Mills and Clunis Dulwich lead, Naira and Clunis with the goal and Danny Mills involved once again Well, there's so much of the uh, new guard setting up with a, a ball out wide originally by Ben Chapman to Jeffrey Monacana. His cross found Danny Mills, but it was the old guard, Nyren Clunis, who arrived at the end of that flick on by Mills to uh, punt it home from a couple of yards. Tashan Oakley Booth can have a look up and play a diagonal ball along the deck to Tariq Hines. Two on one hit. Being shown onto his right boot, his shot is blocked by the chest of Ambrosine in the area. Yanis Ambrosine again. Ooh, chipping one into a dangerous area. Jaha's not going to get there. It's come for Tracy, 25 yards out. Magoma slips it through. Sterling's in. Good save by the leg of Edwards. He'll have enjoyed that one, Preston Edwards. Came from a sloppy bit of play from Yanis Ambrosine. Nice reverse pass through to uh, the Tottenham attacker. Trying to poke out a pass. Deflected Monacana's way. Lovely. Bit of skills to get between a couple of players and sends it across. Oh, it turned into a shot in the end from Monacana. Almost caught Ed Smith out. Clunis, back to Barnes. Good give and go between those two. Mon Louis over the top and Clunis might bring this down. Hines got to be careful where Clunis does win it off him. Pulls it back, Mon Louis. Mon Louis off the inside of the post, come back to Clunis. And then he's chipped into the arms of Smith. Lovely hold up play from Clunis. Just teed up Mon Louis, way to the edge of the area and he had a delicate low shot and it curves away from goal and hit the inside of the post. To Hines. Move into some space down the left wing. On the overlap is number four, Tasha Oakley Booth. Checks his run and sends in a low ball. And the shot goes off the inside of the post and Taylor will be able to clear. Lovely uh, pullback. This time there was meaningful contact from a player, Dylan uh, Markande. Pass on the line is headed away though by Shasua. And here comes... Oakley Booth up to Sterling, running at Taylor now, might have a chance at last, on he goes, saved by Edwards, just as I say he's been a bit anonymous in this game, he goes to pass Quay Taylor, gave him the eyes, sold him a dummy, Sterling on the halfway line, pass intercepted by Taylor and it slipped into Monacana and now he can run at the uh, defence here, Jeffrey Monacana onto his right foot, Monacana tries to wrap his foot around it and uh, sends it wide in the end, Jeffrey Monacana, Mon Louis. Out to Clunis. Lovely reverse. No look pass. Back to Mon Louis. Sends it across towards Mills. Just over. It's a goal kick. No touch on the defender. Mills, two, three yards out. Can only put the one over the top. He's been burying those in pre season. To the middle there where Mills vacated. And uh, Smith will just replace the Jaha slot into that midfield. Here's the 14 for Tottenham, Makande. Up towards Sterling. It's come for. Uh, oh, what a great goal! Oakley Booth, it came to him 
just inside the area, about 16 yards out, and Edwards has been beaten at his near post by a rising drive into the roof of the net. Tremendous strike by Tasha and Oakley Booth. I don't know whether it caught Edwards off guard. Beaten on his near post, as I say. Out of nowhere, though, Tottenham have got a, a lovely equaliser. Be retrieved by Rodell Richards. Shasua. Hines. Just lurking in just outside the area. Jinking into it now. Richards. Gets shots with left boot and deflects into the arms of Edwards. Breaks past Mon Louis and on to Thorpe it goes. Referee's giving them an advantage. Now Makande running at Connors. Gets past him on the outside and he can have a look up. Who's on the pullback? It's Thorpe, it's beyond him. It's come for Shasui. Off the line by Taylor. Very good defending from Quay Taylor again. Positions himself, was alert to the danger of that uh, potential shot coming his way. Enoch Asante coming deep from his striking role to get involved. And that's out to Markande. He's been live wire since coming on the number 14. Coming inside of Connors this time. And Ben's in a shot. Not enough curl on it. Edwards was diving at full stretch. I think he might have had it covered. Ambrosine. Taylor Kerman before that's a lovely looking ball. Yusuf's got the pace, he's going to get there first as he goes around the keeper, that's a penalty, surely it is. He was caught as he rounded Josh Oluwayemi, the assistant on the far side had no hesitation in uh, flagging there. Well, it's going to be the midfielder Smith with a chance to restore Dulwich's lead. Left footed, over the top, puts it over the crossbar. Went for height, but it's uh, cleared the bar, only just. Makande, away from Connors. Taylor can't dive in on the edge of his own penalty area. Makande trying to take him on. Sends it across and it's held by Edwards. Mills departed. Morris to White, Taj backs. Good ball over the top and Bello will chase this down. Up against Jubal Okadina, low centre, Yusuf trying to sniff out a chance. Yusuf! The ball came to him, but he couldn't get the connection on the shot that he wanted, and it trickled through. Shasua. Okadina. Hopefully, boot to Shasua. Gets to the D and has a shot, and Edwards has to dive to his right to save low. Was creeping in that corner, he had to make sure he got down there, Edwards. Fellow's gone short. To Connors, looks up, floats in across. Arriving at the back post was Taylor, onto the roof of the net. Another corner has been awarded, maybe last touch came off Olu Wayemi. Gavin, very good test for your boys today, how do you think they got on? Yeah, excellent test. Um, obviously Spurs are a top team. Um, we've got individuals, young boys who have got into the first team or play international football. Um, obviously knowing Wayne very well, he uh, always wants the boys to play good football. So it'll be a good workout for us. Probably different to what we were facing in the league, but, but good for us in terms of being sharp and, and fit on and off the ball. Um, and I thought we did well in spells. We did some really, so we played some really good football at times. When we played it one and two touch. Uh, we looked quite exciting. Um, and I thought we looked a bit more organised as well, considering that we're playing against a very good team. I thought we were quite off well. We were, we were brave at times. Um, our understanding of each other is getting better and better. Um, and, and exciting as well at times. Lovely move for the goal and there's key components. We've seen Ben Chapman with his two feet impressing in pre-season. Good cross from Jeffrey. Danny Mills doing what he needs to do to be on the end of it and then someone running off him in the form of Nyron. It was a perfect goal in that regard. From cross balls at the moment, we're showing that we've got that bit right um, and we're looking to build the other bits coming, uh, playing through the thirds to be a, a threat for goals in and around the edge of the box as well from midfield and uh, attacking positions. Um, but we're definitely a threat from a cross ball, uh, which is good because the players wide are also capable of shooting um, with the opposite foot, so it's, that's very good for us. Um, like you said, the move was good, it was sharp, it was quick. Uh, Ben's opened the play up and, and given Jeffrey some isolation and he's put a really good ball in again. Just over halfway through pre-season, now two weeks till the opening day, where do you think your side's at at the moment? In a good place? Yeah, I think we're alright generally, I think we're, we're doing okay. I think we're, everyone's generally at good, good fitness levels. We're still trying to manage some people who are carrying injuries uh, or just little knocks. Um, we haven't got the full quarter. We've still got three boys out injured to, to join us. Um, I think the most important thing what I, I've seen or what I like is we've got some leaders in the dressing room, guys who are natural winners, but, but also are, are humble, willing to listen and learn. 
uh, willing to sacrifice themselves for the for the group. And I think sometimes it doesn't matter how much talent you've got. I think if you've got enough good people in the dressing room, it gives ourselves a chance of improving on what we've done last year at least.